guys, how's it going? I'm back with another 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should. Got some really cool stuff here. Nice mix of vinyl, CD, tape, black and death metal, all good stuff. Um, so, I'm going to get straight into it. First up, we have a Brazilian band, Apocalyptic Raids, which is just great Hellhammer worship, pretty much. Um, no bells and whistles, Hell's Headbangers Records. They've actually just dropped a new album, but um, I only have this one, The Third Storm. Really great. Uh, they nail the Hellhammer sound. This is the LP. I figured I'd start showing the cool ones as you guys seem to like funny color vinyls. Um, but yeah, if you like Hellhammer and the classic Hellhammer sound, of course, one we all know and love, I assume. Um, Apocalyptic Raids, just keep that alive and they do a really good job of get, not only getting the riffs and the drums and the vocals, but also the production and the feel of the music, the aesthetics of it is obviously... Um, I can actually give a very good example because they take their name from Apocalyptic Raids, which has just been reissued by Noise Records, so if you kind of hold the two up, then the backs. They've absolutely nailed how it should look and how it should sound, so it's really cool. If you like Hellhammer, then Apocalyptic Raids, you will love to. Next, we have one I literally just got from Expansion Abyss, the new Sentient Divide second album. Really good, murky, slightly doomy, blackened death metal. I love the, the Expansion Abyss logo by Warhead Art as well. Warhead Art is really cool. But yeah, if you like those kinds of really dark, crusty kind of death metal bands, um, trying to think of a good example, just the Sentient Divide do have quite a unique sound, I guess, um, oh fuck what they're called, my brain's just gone completely blank, but, um, stuff like Abyssal, but maybe without, with less of the Black and Doom stuff, it's definitely in the death metal territory, but, you know, it's still got some flair to it, it's still got some dissonance to it, it's only 28 minutes, but it's really killer little album. Next up, we have some more Dutch black metal. There's been some great bands from Holland this year, or the Netherlands, however, is the... I never know which one's better to say. Um, but this is Bezvering, I assume you say it, with a title in, in Dutch that I'm not even going to try and pronounce. But yeah, I'm going to go with Bezvering. This is just stunning. Like, it's got a lot of traditional black metal elements, as you'd expect from a black metal release. Most black metal bands do have those traditional elements. But the thing that really made it stand out to me were these kind of clean, chanted vocals that reminded me of bands like Root, if you're familiar with them, from uh, the Czech Republic. Great live band too, on that side note. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's really weird, kind of a ritualistic, very occult sounding black metal. I really like these guys, and if you like bands like Root and Masters, uh, Masters Hammer, I am thinking of Masters Hammer from Czech Republic, aren't I? Yeah, I am. I was getting them confused with uh, another band. Anyway, if you like those kinds of weirder Eastern Bloc kind of bands, then definitely check out Bezvering, who have a really good approach to it and a really great sound, and that is on Van Records. Next up, some death metal again. We have a great piece of artwork on this one as well. This is Anthropophagus with their debut, I think it's their debut demo EP, Spoiled Marrow on ridiculously pink vinyl and when i say ridiculously i mean it's even pinker than my undergang vinyl of course on our blood harvest records there you can see the logo really cool little ep four tracks um very heavy very nasty kind of death metal got that real kind of sewery sound that so many of us love and definitely will appreciate so if you like that kind of really musty gross death metal check out anthropophagus they're really cool Another one from Blood Harvest next, we have Blood Soaked Necrovoid, this is their demo too. So you, they're both still available I'm pretty sure on tape and there is a compilation I think of the two if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, Blood Soaked Necrovoid, insane. Like, take old school death metal, that kind of sewery dungeon sound, throw in some dissonance like uh, Charm, Veer, Foul and that kind of stuff and you've got Blood Soaked Necrovoid, it's just otherworldly creepy messed up death metal that kind of stuff that makes your stomach curdle in a good way maybe a bit piss grave thrown in there that kind of stuff so yeah if you like your death metal on the really horrendously harsh and unsettling side it kind of sounds like how that thing looks i'm not sure what it is but i like it and i like this tape a lot and i think you guys will too 
Now to continue in the vein of more raw stuff, we have Parvash N, or Parvesh N, I'm not sure how you say that, on our Iron Bonehead. This is one of the demo tapes called Dead Womb, which just makes me think of bands like uh, Sinmara, uh, who have those kinds of titles. Nothing like it, of course. If you take something, I guess, like Black Silas being the probably the most known band carrying the raw black metal title at the minute. I mean, I have a Black Silas poster right there. Um, they came with the second newest album on vinyl. Yeah, if you take stuff like Black Silas, you make it a bit more murky and ambient and there's a lot less high end in this it's got a kind of more mid-rangey some and some even more bassy mixing um if that means anything to you but yeah it's definitely got that a more murky feel than typical raw black metal which really sets pavashen out from the crowd i think it's a really cool project i'm not saying there's anything wrong with uh bands like black Silas. in fact i think they're one of the best black metal bands at the minute um but yeah pavashen is just really daunting and upsetting black metal so if you like your raw stuff to carry some emotional weight to then that's where to be next up something on the kind of opposite end of the spectrum beast fuel mockery you know these guys are probably the most known this is season of mist underground activists is it activists or archivists no it is activists i'm pretty sure i've done that in like eight of these videos this is their album slaying the life if you like kind of very early Sepultura, as you might guess from the art style, Sodom, um, those kinds of bands like uh, Destruction, all these bands in their very early days though, don't be thinking Sodom like M16 or something. This is uh, very much early creator, of course, the first two albums. That kind of that kind of thrash metal has still got a lot of black and death in there before the kind of uh, gene pool split, I guess. If you like that, which I certainly do, then check out Beast Your Mockery. They're absolutely crazy really good band you know um if you want just nuts extreme metal that sounded like good stuff like sarcophago volcano those kinds of bands too of course come to mind sort of the south american extreme metal movement of the late 80s and very early 90s then beast your mockery is definitely gonna wet the whistle if any of you who aren't english get that expression <laughs> Now we have something that um, World Terror Committee very kindly sent me with the Pavesh N tape that I ordered. Really great label as well. And this is Ascension. Now, if you're familiar with the kind of orthodox uh, black metal approach with bands, the most notable being Vatane, but obviously you have stuff like Funeral Mist and that way before Batushka's time. Don't be thinking Batushka, be thinking, you know, this, um, this kind of stuff, obviously. And, well, not obviously, maybe... Um, and also a lot in common with the like Nidorosian black metal scene with uh, bands, you know, like Darvaza and that kind of stuff. Ascension are just incredible. This is, I believe, yeah, it's their 2009 demo with Burning Tongues. Very ritualistic again, very occult sounding, very dark. There's dissonance, there's really amazing riffs and drum work on this, really creepy vocals, very haunting. It's just a great demo tape. Their album's really cool too. I didn't actually have anything of theirs. So massive thanks to World Terror Committee, great label, probably most known for having a band like Sargeist. Uh, so yeah, give World Terror Committee some support and obviously a sanction, really great black metal. Now coming into the last couple of things, this one arrived today as well. So those of you who follow my Instagram will have had a sneak peek. This is Golden Light with their debut demo, uh, not demo, sorry, album. Fuck, I cannot read that. Um, Sacred Golden no, I'm going to read the spine, that's no better. Sacred Colour of the Source of Life, that's a really difficult title for me somehow. Um, as you can see, it's got stunning artwork, Iron Bonehead are just always a consistently good label. I don't want to, if you want to um, not see what it looks like if you pre-ordered this, maybe skip ahead like one minute or so. But it's got some of the most incredible artwork and stuff in the booklet, I just really like the presentation that's gone into that. And aside from this amazing artwork, and by far more importantly, the music, which I haven't actually got into yet, is sort of if you take, again, this raw black metal template, Golden Light shed a lot of dissonance on that, but also quite a tranquil sound. It's definitely got this kind of transcendence to it. It's really stunning music that, you know, it sort of borrows from a lot of other sounds like the Icelandic black metal scene. The French black metal scene and maybe a bit of the Polish or German stuff in there too. I really love it. Um, this is the magenta and gold thing that I genuinely really want to eat. It looks 
It looks fucking edible. I don't care. I'm just saying that. Um, I don't edit my videos, so there's nothing I can do once I've said something. Uh, I just add an intro. So any mistakes are just me. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm off on off that tangent now. Uh, Golden Light is just stunning, raw, experimental in a way, but not kind of obnoxious proggy stuff. Just fantastic black metal. This is definitely another contender for one of my albums of the year, which. I say far too much considering we're only in uh, April, I think. All this COVID-19 bullshit has just thrown out my sense of timing. Usually I listen to records and play guitar most of the time, so gigs are how I identify time, and they're not a thing at the minute. But anyway, hopefully this video gives some more stuff to listen to for those who are bored. And Golden Light should definitely be high in that list, as should this final recommendation. Terra Terra Possessions, great label from Nidaros in Norway, um, well, where that cathedral is, which is in uh, Trondheim, I believe, really should know this stuff, um, but yeah, this is Bythos, debut album, The Womb of Zero, featuring members of Horner and Sargeist, of course, it's a three-piece act, but this doesn't sound like Finnish black metal at all, it takes, definitely takes from the Finnish black metal sound, and there, there are other bands, of course, but I, that would be impossible not to, I think, being such prolific musicians. But um, again, it's got some of this kind of dissonance that I'm probably as guilty as ever on of really associating with Iceland, just because so many great bands from Iceland are doing that at the minute. Um, and yeah, again, some Polish and French black metal has got this kind of bleak undertone, but a very aggressive performance, very ritualistic. Again, stuff like uh, Darvaza and the Nidaros uh, black metal scene come to mind, and it's just great. You know, if you like that kind of stuff, this is phenomenal. I really recommend this release to pretty much any black metal fan. It's the kind of release I think someone who's never heard black metal could really appreciate the musicianship and orchestration and the just burning passion in it. I think diehard underground fans will equally love it for just being great and... Uh, they clearly, it's uncompromising, it is what it is, and if you don't like it, then they quite clearly don't care. So, support to Bythos and uh, Terra Terra Possessions, great label. Um, th those guys are just killing it, as usual, with uh, Horde and Rife and stuff. For example, they have Torque on the bill with the Horde and Rife split, which I haven't got, but I want, and now I just remembered I want it. Um, but yeah, that's 10 more metal bands you haven't heard but should. I hope you enjoy these recommendations. There's... Now fucking tapes and records all over my bed, which, you know, is shit. But <laughs> I will be going back to listening to these in my crypt. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys check out and enjoy these bands. And until next time, stay metal.